KMTV 3 News Now Weekend. In less than an hour, the Nebraska Cornhuskers will kick off the 2017 season at Memorial Stadium. Well, the day has finally arrived. It's Nebraska's season opener inside Memorial Stadium. Good evening, I'm Megan Hahn. Just about an hour away from the Huskers kicking off the new season against Arkansas State. So let's get right to sports reporter Ben Stevens. He's here to give you the set for the Big Reds opening game. Yeah, Megan, tonight all the talk, all the speculation of these last few months comes to an end. A new starting quarterback, a new defense will be front and center under the lights inside Memorial Stadium to kick off year three of the Mike Riley era at Nebraska. And 3 News Now Sports Director Adam Kruger is in the thick of it all. Hey Adam. Yeah, good evening, Ben, from Memorial Stadium, where the Huskers are about to begin the 2017 season against Arkansas State. Fans are already starting to file in here for the 355th consecutive sellout, and they waited a long time to see this team play. And for the squad itself, it's probably felt even longer. We're excited about the opportunity with this team, and, and uh, we expect continual growth. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's an old-fashioned statement of one game at a time. That's the only way to do it. This team, there's been a lot of changes with this team. So, every, like everybody, we are all excited about getting it underway. Well, I will be excited. You know, we're all going to be excited. It's, uh, it was a long summer, a lot of hard work. I was extremely productive off season. You know, it's, um, I'm really excited for this team. I've, you know, I've never really been a part of a team like this where there's so many guys, so many leaders all pulling in the same direction. So it's, uh, it's, it's really cool to be a part of something like this. We have a, a bunch of players that have really never played in the games or have played very little. Um, we're excited about them. They're on fire for their work. They want to be great. They're tough-minded individuals, but game experience is priceless. Tanner Lee will make his first start as a Nebraska quarterback, and fans will get their first true look at Bob Diaco's new 3-4 defense. It should be a very interesting season opener, to say the least, starting in just about one hour. Reporting at Memorial Stadium, Adam Kruger, 3 News Now Sports. Thanks, Adam. So let's dive even a little deeper and give you a couple fun facts, if you will, for Nebraska's opener tonight. The Huskers are 12-0 against Sunbelt opponents all time, including 2-0 against the Sunbelt Conference champs from last season, Arkansas State. NU has also won 19 straight night home games at Memorial Stadium, hoping to make that 20 tonight. And keep the streak going because, as Adam just said, tonight marks the 355th consecutive sellout at Memorial Stadium. Megan, the excitement just continues to grow and grow only about an hour away from kickoff at Memorial Stadium. We'll have plenty more from Lincoln later in sports. Thanks, Ben. Football fever is in the air today, gripping Omaha and the entire Cornhusker state as the 2017 Husker season is finally here. Tens of thousands of fans are in Lincoln gearing up for tonight's big season opener. 3 News Now reporter Andrea Braswell is live in Lincoln with all the excitement, Andrea. Hey Megan, I've been out here going from tent to tent talking to so many excited fans who say they're just so happy about the start of this new season. I got some behind me guys say hey. What's up? <laughs> some people say they have been tailgating for more than 50 years. It's a family tradition that keeps going. A lot of fans say they're expecting big things from the players this year and looking forward to some of the team's newest additions. Fans tell me tailgating has always played a major role in getting the winning season going. Football season started here again and um, love coming out here at tailgate. Definitely it's hard missing a home game because it's kind of a tradition in my family. It's something that it's just kind of like second nature. It's what we do. These fans say they plan to be out here for every home game and today's perfect weather was a terrific way to start the season. Now, later, hear from more fans, even some small fans who say it's their first time tailgating. We'll have more of that later. I'm reporting in Lincoln. Andrea Braswell, 3 News Now. Now, your weather alert first forecast. I'm getting hungry for a brat about now. It is beautiful weather for the kickoff for the Huskers this evening. Currently, the latest temperature in Lincoln and Memorial Stadium is 84 degrees. Kickoff temperature will be around 82. And by the final whistle, we should be dropping into the lower 70s. Sunshine, clear skies during the evening, and light winds. Now, upstream from us, we have some warmer air that's headed our way. That's going to be impacting us on Sunday. Temperatures a little summer-like, but in terms of the next 12 hours, 
many of you watching the game, but also if you got a barbecue going, through 9 o'clock we'll be in the lower 70s, falling into the 60s from 11 o'clock through tomorrow morning, where we'll start the day with temperatures in the low 60s. A look at your Sunday forecast and the rest of Labor Day upcoming in just a few minutes. Here's a look at the stories we're tracking right now. Officers responded to several overnight cuttings that sent two men to the hospital. OPD arrested 22-year-old Sennard Gomez near 43rd and Fowler just after midnight for reportedly cutting his 39-year-old roommate across the face with a knife. The victim was taken to Emanuel Medical Center where he's respected to, expected to recover. Gomez was arrested for felony assault. And hours later, police were called to 24th and Harney Street for a 28 Eight year old victim who got into an argument with an unknown man passing by. The man then stabbed him and fled the scene. The victim was taken to Nebraska Medical Center for treatment. No suspects are in custody. A driver was arrested by Omaha police this morning after a, for a DUI after showing up to a service center to get an oil change with an open beer. OPD tweeted out this pic showing the man blew a .264 BAC this morning around 9.30 a.m. It was the man's fourth DUI arrest. He was also a suspended driver. President Donald Trump has called for a national day of prayer tomorrow to show support for the victims of Hurricane Harvey. Today, Trump returned to Texas to comfort the victims. The president visited one of the relief centers housing Texans displaced by Hurricane Harvey in Houston. He praised the government's response and promised to help survivors rebuild. The first lady and the president visited with children and handed out meals to families. As tough as this was, it's been a wonderful thing. I think even for the country to watch and for the world to watch. State and health officials are keeping a close eye on six trailers at the Arkema chemical plant in nearby Crosby. Fire there has sent plumes of black smoke into the sky, raising environmental concerns. The president is also expected to visit Louisiana today. The largest youth soccer club in Nebraska holds its Labor Day tournament this weekend at Tranquility Soccer Complex and a local disaster relief team is taking advantage of the big crowds to help victims in Houston. Porter Jessica Ritchie has a story. Come on, come on, in! 140 teams times parents and siblings are here from all over the Midwest for Sporting Omaha FC's yearly tournament. The soccer tournament is expecting more than 6,000 people today and tomorrow, the perfect opportunity for Omaha Rapid Response to get supplies for victims of Hurricane Harvey. We knew that they were sending a team down to Texas next week, so we thought, man, what a great venue at our tournament where we could ask them to come out, uh, just tell people what their needs are, what they need to take down there. More than 4,000 emails were sent out asking families to donate money and supplies to the Omaha Rapid Response booth. I think it's a great idea. There's a, there are a lot of people here. Um, it's a good opportunity for people to bring in things. We went shopping last night and bought some underwear. Friends and first responders already in Houston told Omaha Rapid Response what help is needed and where. They're going through a lot of socks, as you can imagine, walking through contaminated water. The group is going down next Thursday with donations of gift cards, cleaning supplies, baby needs, wool socks, and underwear. Over the next few weeks, more teams with spiritual, medical, and construction skills will be sent to offer what help they can. There's going to be months and months of work to be doing down there. It's, it's, it's a new normal for everybody. And so uh, we're in for the long haul. Everybody all around the world feels like they're part of it, that they're victims too. Jessica Ritchie, 3 News Now. Omaha Rapid Response will be at the tournament tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's at Tranquility Soccer Complex near 120th and Maple. And you can help the people in Texas. All you need to do is call this number, 1-800-RED-CROSS, or visit redcross.org. You can find more ways on how you can give to the effort on our website at 3newsnow.com. Those images we've brought you from Texas are tragic. The Omaha World Herald has been keeping us posted with their experiences in the disaster zone. Omaha World Herald visual journalists Chris Mackian and Aaron Duffy documented the rescues with the Nebraska National Guard. This weekend on Omaha Sunday morning, we hear from them and the men and women in uniform after a week of eye-opening experiences. Uh, it was all sorts of reactions. There was people who were really happy and there was People who are really sad because they're leaving everything that they had behind. See this story and much more tomorrow morning at 730. 
and brides to be are lining up for one dress in particular. We'll tell you how one local woman is stepping in to help make it the wedding of her dreams. Area neighborhoods, no doubt, barbecuing, got the TV sets going on, watching the Huskers this evening, and we'll see readings in the lower 80s through the early part of the evening, but we'll be warming up significantly on Sunday. I'll tell you about that after the break. Omaha's official home for Husker sports is AM 590 ESPN Omaha. The Big Red is on Omaha's biggest all sports radio station with over 12 hours of in-depth Husker football coverage every game day from the Husker Sports Network and AM 590. But that's only the start. AM 590 keeps the Nebraska conversation going every day with Omaha Sports Insider. Online and on the radio weekday afternoons from 2 to 6 with Joe Quinn and Nick Handley. Omaha's official home for Husker sports. AM 590 ESPN Omaha. Toyota's National Clearance Event is going on now. Get super low APR financing and great lease offers on the remaining 2017s. Save big on favorites like the reliable Camry, economical Corolla, adventurous RAV4, and more. Right now, you can get 0% APR financing for 72 months plus $1,000 bonus cash on a new 2017 Camry or a new 2017 RAV4. For the deals end September 5th, come in today and get yours before they're gone. Toyota, let's go places. Wouldn't it be great if you could just tell your remote what you want to watch instead of having to push a bunch of buttons? Cox's Contour TV voice remote lets you do this. Show me comedy horror movies. So easy, it's scary. Now let's try CenturyLink. Comedy movies. Horror movies. Any movie? CenturyLink is so last century. Take the Cox Challenge. Get a better bundle with Contour TV, up to 100 megs internet and phone. Just $89.99 a month with no contract. Looking for adventure this Labor Day? Holy smokes. Oh man, that's pretty intense. Look no further than Chevrolet. This is a fast car. I feel like I left my soul back there. Wow, this has power. Head to the Chevy Labor Day sales event and ride out the summer in a new Chevrolet. Current Chevy owners can use Labor Day bonus cash to get a total value of $11,600 on this Silverado All-Star. Or get 0% financing for 72 months on all Tahoe and Suburban models. See your Heartland Chevy dealers. It's the most important job you'll ever have, raising your kids. And you care about every detail. But do you know what happened at school today? What are they learning? How do our schools compare? What programs can we be proud of? At KMTV, we care about your kids. That's why our team takes you in the classroom every Thursday on KMTV 3 News Now. Stay connected to what's happening in your child's school. In the classroom on KMTV 3 News Now. The 3 News Now Mobile Storm Tracker, sponsored by Jensen Tire and Auto. Now, your weather alert forecast. Inside of an hour until kickoff, and we're looking good weather-wise. Skies will clear out. It's 84 in Lincoln, 84 in the metro. North winds at 7 miles an hour. Bit humid out there. We have the dew points at 67 degrees as we take a look at temperatures around the region. Upper 70s from Denison, Carroll over toward Atlantic, Iowa. Most other locations in the lower 80s with a warm spot in Falls City at 85 degrees. Through the next 12 hours, here's the way things shape up. Very comfortable around 7 o'clock. We'll be still be in the lower 70s by 9 o'clock, dropping into the 60s late evening into the overnight. Eventual lows will be in the lower 60s as we start your Sunday. Right now, warmer temperatures off to the west of us. Look at Hel uh, Helena and Billings in the lower 90s, and that's going to translate farther to the east heading into tomorrow. Uh, the highs on in Omaha will be around 91 degrees. And then for Monday, notice the difference. That means we've got some cooler air that's going to be settling in here, but still very pleasant. The hot air will be bottled up to the south of us as we head into Labor Day itself, but the weather's going to be hold, we're holding on. We're not looking for much or anything at all in terms of precipitation with that front. Currently, all is quiet, radar spinning dry. We pan out a little bit, see some scattered showers pinwheeling through Wisconsin and over toward the Great Lakes region, but upstream from us, nothing taking place. You can barely see a cloud anywhere from here to the Pacific as a big upper level ridge remains in place. That's the dominant feature in our weather heading into the Labor Day weekend, so no problems for this holiday. Here's the front stationary in North Dakota that's going to be impacting the metro on uh, well, Labor Day itself and into uh, Tuesday, if you want to 
call it impacting. It's just going to be cooling us down. I'll show you that right now. Sunny, warm conditions on Sunday, somewhat humid. Here comes the front barreling in here as we head into Monday morning and then eventually sliding into northern Kansas and expanding. That's when the cooler air will be settling in, more so Monday night. Maybe a pop-up shower or thunderstorm to the south of us, but I don't think we'll be seeing much around the metro area. As far as tonight goes, 62 degrees. The eventual lows with clearing skies may see some patchy valley fog here and there across the areas. And then for tomorrow, we'll warm into the lower 90s with sunshine, south-southwest winds at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. A look at your seven-day forecast. 83 to 85 degrees on Monday. We'll see a few more clouds and then Tuesday cooling down to 74. In fact, we're going to be in the 70s through Thursday before we climb back into the lower 80s heading into Friday. There's a slight chance of maybe a thunderstorm on Saturday. That would be late in the day into the evening hours, but most of the day is going to be fine and most areas are going to be dry. So it looks like some beautiful weather for the week ahead. Still moving into what we call the secondary severe weather season, parts of September and October, so it's still a good idea to keep Storm Shield on your cell phone. You can find that at 3 What a perfect weekend for Memorial Day. Everyone out there enjoying those barbecues, camping maybe, worked out perfectly. They call it summer's last hurrah, but you know, it's the final holiday of the summer season. It's still going to be feeling summer-like, and that's the fun part, so we're going to be seeing some uh, enough warm weather to head out into the area lakes as well. Not quite ready yet for pumpkin, pumpkin spice lattes, mm. are we? <laughs> not quite, not yet. Thanks, John. You bet. This next story that's been gaining national attention is about an Omaha woman stepping up to help brides in need have the weddings of their dreams by creating a sisterhood of the traveling dress. Believing that there is a way and just knowing through hard times that you can just carry on. Just Donetta Hines of Omaha made a post on Facebook a few weeks ago. She would give her $1,200 wedding dress to a bride in need. The post blew up and then it took a turn. It's mind blowing. It's just there's no words to be said. Now more than a dozen brides have signed up to borrow the dress and then send it to the next bride in line. And we're getting it dry cleaned after every use of the dress so it stays in good condition, but hopefully it lasts for a while. I, I think I was the second person to comment on it. Valerie Fitzgerald got married in the dress this past weekend. We were just going to go through with the courthouse wedding because there was no way that we could afford a dress. When she uh, sent the dress to me, we just like, we, one of my really good friends planned my whole wedding for me, and it was, it was amazing. But there's more to this story. We had no money to our name. Donetta and Jared Hines are living a true rags to riches tale. The pair was homeless just a few years ago. After hard work building a fitness business, today they're sitting in the living room of their new house. Be that, be that influence. Because they know the struggle, they understand how appreciative others are of small gestures of kindness. I know what it's like, and, uh, and she knows what it's like, and sorry if I get a little emotional. Um, and you know, just, just help somebody just in, I mean, even in the slightest way. And I'm Give it all up to God. Everything that's happened to us, it's because of him. From seeing Donetta's post, other brides have reached out to her about donating their own wedding dresses. And a brush fire burned through more than 2,000 acres in California's Los Angeles County on Friday and continues to rage. More after the break on 3 News Now Weekend. Game night is Friday football. And no one covers high school football like Omaha Sports Insider. On air, online, the largest broadcast sports team. Bringing you the most games. The best matchups, and it's just getting bigger. The comprehensive coverage of Metro Sports and beyond. OSI Game Night, every Friday night at 10. And an expanded Game Night recap every Saturday morning at 11, only on KMTV3. Brought to you by Wendy's. Need help and don't know where to call? Remember these simple numbers, 211. United Way of the Midlands 211 Helpline connects people in need of services that can help at nonprofit and public agencies. The call is free and available weekdays from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 5. From rent and utility assistance to referrals for food, counseling, legal, and medical services, call 211, the first place to call for help. You've endured the heat. 
summer reruns, and unfortunate tan lines. It's time to get back in the game. National Kickoff Day at Nebraska Furniture Mart is here. Take a seat, grab a snack, turn it on, and turn it up. Shop store-wide specials and 30-month financing. From tailgates to home gates, the Mart is your one-stop shop for football season necessities. So whether you're a laid-back fan or a full-blown fanatic, the store where you score is Nebraska Furniture Mart. This is Dylan, and this is Levi. This is Dylan, and this is Levi. Easy going, but hard to tell apart. These parallel preschoolers were born with a double dose of heart trouble. Just hours old, they came to Children's Hospital and Medical Center, the best place for kids, where comprehensive cardiac expertise and state-of-the-art techniques are a twinning combination. Right, Dylan? Right, Levi? Nailed it. Children's Hospital and Medical Center. We know children. You shop around, do your research, find the best fit. Why not do the same for your prescription drug plan? At SilverScript, we're experts in Medicare Part D, and 5 million people just like you trust us every day. With no deductible, we could help you save money and get better coverage with access to pharmacies across the nation. So take a closer look at SilverScript. We think you'll like what you see. Ralston, thanks for watching KMTV3. The largest fire in the history of Los Angeles continues to burn thousands of acres near Burbank and has led to nearly 200 evacuations as it spreads amid windy, hot conditions north of the 210 freeway. CBS News correspondent Wendy Gillette has the latest updates from New York. Large flames quickly burn through the brush-covered hilltops around Los Angeles, sending clouds of smoke high above the city. This is a, a continues to be a very dynamic fire. Named the Latuna Fire, it's the largest blaze in terms of acreage in the history of the city. Mandatory evacuations were issued to hundreds of residents as helicopters dropped water to try to save structures and homes. All it takes is just a little bit of wind and that's it, or an ember to blow. Those driving on the 210 freeway saw the fire raging dangerously close to the road before it was shut down. It's been about 45 years and since we've had a fire in this area. So we've known for a long time and firefighters have known for a long time there's a lot of fuel in these mountains. Firefighters warned those under voluntary evacuations to be ready to leave within minutes. Be set, have your car positioned appropriately, have your pets, your documents, your pictures, all the things that you want to protect loaded up in your car. Some of the more than 500 firefighters have been on the job for a day straight as they try to stop the flames from spreading further. Wendy Gillette for CBS News. Only about 10% of the fire was contained as of late this afternoon. And the time until the Nebraska season opener keeps ticking down. Another report from Memorial Stadium ahead oh, of the yeah. Big Reds opening game up next in sports. Mike DiGiacomo, Kelly Nyberg, The Morning Blend, weekdays at 9 on KMTV. Don't miss the final days of the Honda Summerbration sales event at the Honda Giant. Honda Cars of Bellevue, where it's all about you. Drive a new Civic, only $1.99 a month with zero down. This KBB Best Buy winner comes with Bluetooth, backup camera, and more. Zero down and $1.99 a month. When you want it all, get it all at the Honda Giant, Honda Cars of Bellevue. One small step off Kennedy Freeway, one giant Honda savings store. Got a car question? Submit it at omahamorningblend.com and look for the answer every other Monday with the experts from Certified Transmission. If what you see is what you get, then you've hit the jackpot. You can't fake steak. Longhorn Steakhouse. Tonight's special, the Great American Steak Dinner for $12.99. A center cut sirloin with a side, plus a starter or dessert. And for lunch, try one of our new burgers, like the barbecue bacon burger, only at Longhorn. It is so great to see these guys getting along so well. 
It's hard to believe they're the same kids that used to be at each other's throats. I remember many dinners that ended up in screaming and slammed doors. I don't know how we survived with all that fighting. It almost tore our family apart. Raising kids is hard. It's okay to ask for advice. Call 888-866-8660 to speak to a trained counselor. Any problem, anytime. KMTV3 and the Omaha Community Playhouse are giving away 25 pairs of tickets to the opening week of Mamma Mia! The smash hit musical featuring the music of ABBA. Go to 3newsnow.com and register to win your tickets to Mamma Mia! Omaha Sunday Morning, a new program that spotlights the spirit of Omaha, local stories that inform and inspire. Sunday mornings at 7.30 on KMTV3. Need service fast? Come to Honda Cars of Bellevue and take advantage of no appointment express service. Now, your Omaha Sports Insider Report. Tonight is the night. Under the lights at Memorial Stadium, Nebraska opens the 2017 campaign against Arkansas State. And that's exactly where we find 3 News Now Sports Director Adam Kruger, who has more on the Big Reds matchup against the Red Wolves. Hi again, Ben. We are now less than an hour away from Nebraska's season opener as the Huskers take on Arkansas State. Now this Red Wolf squad may not be a Power 5 conference school, but they still have plenty of talent. Blank Anderson's squad is coming off back-to-back -back Sunbelt championships. We've got a, a great opponent coming in. we got a lot of respect for Arkansas State, me personally, for the history of the program there and uh, the work that Blake Anderson has done since he's been there. Great offense, innovative system, awesome challenge for our defense, um, strong perimeter players, really good quarterback play, um, have a great dynamic offensive system. They run it really well. They've outscored folks um, in their years and have had great success as a team led by their offense. Perennially, they're, they're pretty, pretty strong in the Sun Belt. You know, they're, they're conference champions, I think, last couple years or something like that. But no, they, they're pretty dynamic on offense. Their quarterback is really talented. Um, offensive line is, is rebuilt, but we've heard good things about them. So it's definitely not something we're going to overlook. Defensively, they've got a, a good defense, and they're anchored by a guy that's had a ton of sacks in his career. Uh, and we don't. We want to do everything we can not to add to that total. They had a nice little streak of wins last year, so they're going to come into the season confident, looking to make a statement. Nothing we take lightly. You know, we're, we're excited for this for this challenge, and I think they'll be a good first opponent. Nebraska's faced Arkansas State twice in its history, and both times the Big Red came out victorious. First in 2009, then again in 2012. they will try to make it three straight here tonight. Reporting at Memorial Stadium, Adam Kruger, Three News Now Sports. Thanks, Adam. So once again, just about half an hour left to go. Nebraska meets Arkansas State inside Memorial Stadium to kick off year three of the Mike Riley era. A 7 p.m. kick televised on BTN. And after the Huskers season opener comes to a close tonight, head on over to OmahaSportsInsider.com for post-game reaction. Meanwhile, Iowa already kicked off the 2017 season earlier this afternoon, and the Hawkeyes doing so with a new starting quarterback in Nathan Stanley. And faring pretty well early on, fourth and goal from the two, Stanley rolls out and finds the Omaha South Pratt. No offense for the score, Iowa takes the lead 7-3. And here's something you don't see every day just before the half, Wyoming punter Tim Selensky just flat out whiffs. And Iowa recovers, take another look, bobbles the ball off the snap, has absolutely no chance after that. So the Hawkeyes take over in Cowboys territory and get right to work. How about Noah Fant one more time? The 27-yard TD strike from Stanley to the former South Packer, and Iowa handles Wyoming today 24-3. Now taking a look around the Big Ten on this opening Saturday of college football. Sixth ranked Penn State just dominating Akron. And how about the Terps? Maryland pulls the upset over 23rd ranked Texas. And in the marquee game of the afternoon, Michigan getting the big win over Florida. And Northwestern starts the year in the win column, beating Nevada. And after earning the highest ranking in program history, 7th ranked Creighton Volleyball showed why last night. Sweeping 13th ranked Kentucky three sets to none in CU's home opener in front of the largest crowd ever inside DJ Sokol Arena. And Creighton facing another ranked foe this afternoon, taking on 18th ranked USC. The Jays dropped the first set, but trying to respond early in the second. Marissa Wilkinson too strong for the block. CU evens it at seven, but the Trojans take the second set as well. So Megan Ballinger looking to keep Creighton in it, gets the kill to make it 10-9 in the third. But USC just too much today as Creighton loses its first match this season. Three sets to none. The Jays look to bounce back against Northern Iowa tonight at eight. 
The 12th ranked Nebraska volleyball team taking on St. Mary's this afternoon. First set Huskers Aneshka Zabo, one of her team high 10 kills this afternoon in the Devaney Center. And you wins the first set 26-24. Second set more big red. Michaela Fecky hits it off the face of her opponent. That's a, one way of getting it done. Ties it up at three. Later in the second more Nebraska. Brianna Holman puts it away for the Huskers. She had nine kills this afternoon for NU. Nebraska sweep, sweep St. Mary's to move to three and two this season. So Megan, here we are just about half an hour away from Nebraska's season opener inside Memorial Stadium. Months and months of talk since Bob Bianca was hired as defensive coordinator back in January. Tanner Lee, the starting quarterback, coming out of spring practice. And here we are, September 2nd, ready to get it all going. I know it's opening day. It's basically a holiday here. Oh, for me, it is absolutely very excited when I woke up this morning. Let's just see how it goes for Nebraska yeah, tonight. I know everyone will be glued to their TV. Absolutely, absolutely. Thanks, Ben. Stay tuned. We'll have more coming up after the break. Hear that? Ooh. Your craving is calling again. This time for Taco John's new pork carnitas breakfast tacos made with fluffy eggs and cravetastic hand shredded pork. When the breakfast craving calls, Ooh. answer. Get the new two for four dollar pork carnitas breakfast tacos only at Taco John's. celebration of her 45th birthday. Get 45% off Mako's most popular paint service and Meineke's oil change packages. A deal so good, you'll want to celebrate twice. Get ready for the weekend with Shopco's big Labor Day sale. With Pepsi and Coke 12-pack cans or 8-pack bottles, four for $11. Stock up on drinks and snacks, just four for $10. Plus, get 60% off during our semi-annual furniture sale. A Simmons rocker recliner, only $279.99. This solder stowaway storage cabinet is $99.99. And a 55-inch Magnavox TV, just $499.99. Get great savings during Shopco's big Labor Day sale. Shopco, the stuff that counts. Welcome to Toyota's National Clearance Event. We love adventure and we want something safe. RAV4 comes with Toyota Safety Sense Standard. Just imagine the things we'll see. Here we go. Oh, look at the zebras. Oh, look at those two rhinos. Oh. Are they? Oh. Maybe the beach. Love, love the, the beach. beach. Right now, you can lease a new 2017 RAV4 for $199 per month or get $2,000 customer cash on a new RAV4. Enjoy the sights. Toyota, let's go places. In the blink of an eye, cities fall, heroes rise. A heartbeat skips as a man slips gravity's grip, and heartbreak leaps from the brink. In a blink, just think of all the games, teams, hopes, and dreams that live and die because greatness lies. In the blink of an eye. This is the sports app on Contour from Cox. Cable TV reimagined to get you right to the good stuff. 3 News Now and Scripps Media need your help taking action for Texas. Go to 3newsnow.com backslash Harvey and click on the Donate Now button. Or call 1-800-RED-CROSS. The Taco Blitz at Taco John's is your ticket to the big game. Team a crispy or soft shell taco with one of four burritos and a 20 ounce fountain beverage. Then text your code for a chance at prizes like gift cards and tickets to the big game in Minneapolis. Get the Taco Blitz. Win big only at Taco John's. Kickoff is just minutes away and thousands of anxious Husker fans are making their way into Memorial Stadium right now for the season kickoff. 3 News Now reporter Andrea Braswell has been talking to Husker fans all day in Lincoln and joins us with the excitement, Andrea. Yes, Megan, fans are super pumped. They've been out here enjoying this beautiful weather, grilling, playing some football, and I'm going to step aside so you can see. We still have some people out here, but they are kind of clearing out because they're going into the stadium. This is the first big game of the season, and just like diehard fans, people are out here waiting for the start of the game. Husker fans say there's so much to look forward to this season, but they really want to see some major W's from those players. Win or lose, these fans say they'll always be big red fans, and tailgating before the game plays a part in getting everyone excited for tonight's big game. We are here to party because it's the Huskers' first game, and I'm a huge fan. I have been since I was a child. Fans big and small are out here. People say they will be paying close attention to the new quarterback. Now later at 10, hear from more tailgaters who say they've been doing this since the 1950s. I'm reporting in Lincoln, Andrea Braswell, 3 News Now. 
An Omaha artist is leaving a positive mark on the city that will last for years to come. Artist Wadi White is bringing the people that make up the city of Omaha to life in the form of 100 murals that will dot the city. This morning he installed seven of these in the Blackstone neighborhood. So far, White's finished about 20 and it'll take him two years to complete the whole project. He says his inspiration is people who give back to our community. The models for, for all, of, all of these um, are, they are people that I know and admire greatly that do something um, you know, great or small in the world to make the world a little bit better, of a better place. The mural should withstand the elements and ravages of time for a decade or longer. One of Omaha's most beloved Labor Day festivals is underway right now at the American Italian Heritage Society. La Festa Italiana kicked off its weekend festivities with a Santa Lucia marching band and local entertainers. Guests can enjoy authentic Italian food and drinks. You can even catch the big Husker season opener here soon on a big screen at the festival. Fireworks show will follow tonight's Pink Cadillac performance. The festival continues through the weekend. September Fest is a salute to Labor Day, kicked off its weekend fun today with plenty of events for the family. Photojournalist Mike Simmons was there and brings us the excitement from the CenturyLink Center. We're at September Fest, we're down at the old CenturyLink Center. <laughs> This is a way of getting out of the house. Get the kids out, get them away from the electronics. Get them down here, get them to do some, uh, you know, activities. My cousin actually introduced me to this place and I liked it, so I came here ever since. Like, as a kid, I always remember the one ride, like, where it, like, spun you around, so I had, like, I just wanted to see if it was here and, like, I wanted to ride it again, because it was super fun. The September Fest is awesome. I've been coming here since I was little myself. There's a lot of things to do. There's a lot of things to eat. And then if you get bored, there's a lot of people walking around just showing, showing some cool things. Turnout's been great. The weather's been awesome. We haven't had any problems whatsoever in that. And honestly, uh, I would just definitely come down and see everything that there is to see. That looks like a fun time. September Fest is happening through Monday night with a Labor Day parade, plenty of different foods and family friendly activities. The Oracle of Omaha got some belated birthday wishes this weekend from a famous duo. Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez were in Omaha Friday and stopped by for a visit with Warren Buffett. JLo posted this pic on Instagram, captioning it, Out here in Omaha, having a laugh with this amazing guy, hashtag wisdom. The next snapshot shows Lopez and Buffett hugging in front of a birthday cake. Buffett celebrated his 87th birthday last Wednesday. Happy belated birthday. Metro schools are dealing with a growing problem of students missing several days of class. Still ahead on 3 News Now Weekend, what's being done to create awareness about truancy? What would you think if I told you we could fix sagging concrete slabs with a hole the size of a penny? It's possible with Polylevel from Thrasher. Avoid the mess of mud jacking. Our expanding polyurethane does the job better, doesn't erode away, and costs a fraction of replacement. Plus, you can walk or drive on it in just 15 minutes. For fast, clean concrete repair, call Thrasher today. This is Dylan, and this is Levi. This is Dylan, and this is Levi. Easy going, but hard to tell apart. These paralleled preschoolers were born with a double dose of heart trouble. Just hours old, they came to Children's Hospital and Medical Center, the best place for kids, where comprehensive cardiac expertise and state-of-the-art techniques are a twinning combination. Right, Dylan? Right, Levi? Nailed it. Children's Hospital and Medical Center. We know children. And how does standard heating and air conditioning do things? Well, not by trying to sell you plumbing or electrical services, that's for sure. Standard is specialized exclusively in heating and air conditioning for over 40 years. Our technicians are courteous, clean, and professional. They'll only repair what needs repairing. When other heating and air conditioning companies send salesmen, Standard sends a qualified technician. It's just part of the way we do the things we do. Carrier, turn to the experts. 
You can drive a truck, or you can team up with one. The 2017 Nissan Titan has your back for the long haul. Backed by America's best truck warranty. Five years, 100,000 miles, bumper to bumper. Take on any job in Nissan Titan, America's fastest growing full-size truck brand. Get a low 289 per month lease on Titan or save up to 11,260 on Titan XT. Red Oak. Thanks for watching KMTV3. Start your day one step ahead with three news now this morning. We keep you connected to what's new now and next. Getting you around those morning hot spots. And we do have some debris in the roadway on 144th Street. Tracking the storms every move. All right, we continue to follow a lot of shower and thunderstorm action. Keep you up to the minute on what impacts your morning. Stay connected to this story all day long. Download the three news now app or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. With the news you need to jumpstart your day. Three news now this morning. Made for mornings. During the 2016-2017 school year, Douglas County Attorney Don Klein received more than 1,400 truancy referral cases. It's continued to rise over the past three years. But rather than just dig into the numbers, that doesn't help you as parents. We want to know what is being done about it. Lindsay Thies digs into this issue in our In the Classroom series. Amir Wiggins is a student at Westside High School. He says he learned the lesson of missing too many classes. Last year it was a lot because like I had a class that I didn't like or something and it just I didn't want to go to it but it at the end of it it turned out bad because I failed the class and I regret doing it. I regret skipping like a lot actually like if I could go back I wouldn't skip. Truancy is a growing problem in area schools. More than 13,000 students in Douglas, Sarpy and Pottawatomie County public schools miss more than 10 percent of days of attendance in the 2015 to 2016 school year. Of those, 740 were elementary school students. Here's a look at the districts with the highest rates of chronic absenteeism. Omaha Public Schools has the most, followed closely by Council Bluffs and Douglas County West Community Schools. All over 10 percent of their student populations are frequently absent. Ralston and Bellevue districts also top the list, with 8 and 10 percent of their respective student populations chronically missing. But before you judge the numbers, you have to talk about the context. In the state, if a student has 20 or more absences, Nebraska state law requires the school to refer the truancy case to their county attorney's office. Now, Nebraska state law allows school districts to also create their own attendance policies with excused or unexcused absences. But here's the thing. According to the United way. Students with special needs, kindergartners, and even chronically ill children are among those groups who often miss. We skip class to do homework sometimes. Educators and community resources are trying to find solutions. They're banding together with a campaign and coalition focused on better attendance. What research shows is that uh, September and the beginning of the school year is really how attendance habits are set. District 66 is not on that high chronic absenteeism list, but it is part of the coalition. Principal Jay Opperman, a parent himself, says that it's a balance of managing numbers and getting at the root of what might cause a student to miss class. We try and at first give the students that ability to manage their time, and then if we see some concerns, then we'll We'll kind of swoop in and say, hey, we're going to assign your time now. You're not managing it very well. They're arming schools with kits like these, posters and flyers and magnets and stickers, temporary tattoos for both the kids and parents. But it goes beyond just a couple of handouts. They're also creating a plan. But we also have a social media campaign with positive messaging about attendance and how to access resources. Um, and then we also have special events that are going on throughout the month. Showing up to face a trend that is just starting to look like a problem. Lindsay Thies, 3 News Now. Douglas County Attorney Don Klein says he'll meet with area superintendents later this fall to discuss solutions for truancy. You can find this story and more from our In the Classroom series online. It's part of our commitment to covering education in our communities. Head to our website at 3newsnow.com. And here's a live look outside our station near 108th and Mockingbird. John has your weekend forecast next. I'm Jennifer Griswold from KMTV 3 News Now. Join me for the Omaha Home for Boys Imagine Our Youth fundraising celebration, an evening dedicated to supporting the youth, young adults, and families served by the Omaha Home for Boys. Enjoy dinner and a silent auction, as well as a VIP reception with keynote speaker Ice-T. 
The 2017 Imagine Our Youth Fundraising Celebration, Friday, September 29th at Embassy Suites in La Vista. OmahaHomeForBoys.org for ticket information. What's even better than primetime TV? TV that works on your time. With Contour TV from Cox, you can access the top 100 primetime TV shows available on demand anytime. So you can catch your favorite shows when it works for you. With CenturyLink, you could get a lot of drama if they don't have your top primetime shows on demand. Take the Cox Challenge. Get a better bundle with Contour TV, up to 100 megs internet and phone. Just $89.99 a month with no contract. Go online and take the Cox Challenge today. Human beings can be hungry anytime they please. Maybe you messed up and didn't eat enough lunch. Perhaps dinner is very far away. It doesn't matter. Come to Arby's and solve your hunger problems with dollar sliders, cookies, snack size fries, drinks and shakes, each for a dollar from two to five. P.M. Not A.M. Arby's, we have the meat. KMTV 3 News Now in Omaha, Nebraska is an equal opportunity employer dedicated to providing extensive outreach regarding broadcast career and job opportunities at the station. We encourage organizations that distribute employment information or refer qualified applicants to employers to contact us so that they may receive notification of future vacancies. If your organization would like to receive vacancy announcements, please contact our Human Resources Department at 402-592-3333. Mike, I'm heading out to run some errands. Better get up soon. Mike? Don't you have to go to work? Mike? Honey? Are you listening to me? Mike, get up! Mike. Mike, wake up. Michael. Michael, get up! Honey, get up! Mike! Baby, wake up! South Omaha. Thanks for watching KMTV3. Now, your weather alert forecast. Well, here's what's driving our weather through the Labor Day holiday weekend. Uh, we have an upper level ridge in the western half of the country, and that usually is a warm weather pattern. Definitely 90 degree weather throughout much of the Intermountain regions, and that will build into the Central Plains as it builds farther to the east over the course of your Sunday. So we're going to be seeing more widespread 90 degree weather on Sunday. Note to the north though, here's a cold front that's eventually going to be pushing our way as we head into the uh, Monday time frame, at least Monday morning into the afternoon. But for now, uh, nothing but clear weather upstream from us, no major storms and no chances for precipitation headed our way until really till next weekend as a matter of fact. So let's take a look at the temperatures for tomorrow. High 90s out in western Nebraska. We should at least be in the lower 90s around the metro area for high temperatures and it is a bit humid. Dew point temperatures in the mid to upper 60s with some 70 degree readings at Atlantic Red Oak down toward Maryville. So look for some humid conditions for tomorrow. In terms of your temperature profile for tonight, will be dropping from the mid 60s at midnight to the lower 60s in the morning, climbing to about 83 at noontime as we heat up. Good day to be on the lake tomorrow, around 92 for the high. Monday will be uh, into the low to mid 80s and uh, well, if you're hardy, maybe uh, you still may be able to hit the lake in the lower 70s. I don't know. Fishing may be good, though, ahead of that front on Monday. As far as the fitness planner for tomorrow, excellent conditions all day long. South-southwest winds. Be sure to hydrate, though. It's going to be a little bit muggy out there. And maybe when you're done with the run or the bike or the hike, well, head out to Warner Park. We go from football tonight, baseball tomorrow, 87 for the first pitch. Uh, post game around 75 degrees out at Warner. It'll be a nice night to sit out at the ballpark. Nothing upstream from us over the next uh, 24 hours or so. A look at your seven day forecast. 92 on Sunday, 85 on Monday, cooling to 74 on Tuesday. A few more clouds around the area with the passage of that cold front, but it should remain dry for the metro. Some thunderstorms could set up well to our south Monday evening. And then for the rest of the week, Lower 70s on Wednesday, mid to upper 70s on Thursday as we warm back into the lower 80s on Friday and Saturday with a slight chance of a rumble of thunder or two Saturday afternoon or into the evening hours. Megan? Thanks, John. The exact moment an Elkhorn man finds out he's a dad is caught on camera. The picture that's going viral and will make you smile. That's after the break on 3 News Now Weekend.
My husband and I came to Omaha just weeks after we got married. We've had two beautiful, amazing children. As a parent, you feel like you need to be connected to know what's going on and how to help your children to make sure they have the best life possible. In the newsroom, I try to be the voice of parents out there. I try to think, what do I care about? What do moms and dads care about? And we try to make sure that we're connecting with them and that's a key to our newscast. And I invite people to tune in because we cover a lot of great stuff going on in Omaha. Oh Looking for adventure this Labor Day? Holy smokes. Oh man, that's pretty intense. Look no further than Chevrolet. This is a fast car. I feel like I left my soul back there. Wow, this has power. Head to the Chevy Labor Day sales event and ride out the summer in a new Chevrolet. Current Chevy owners can use Labor Day bonus cash to get a total value of $11,600 on this Silverado All-Star. Or get 0% financing for 72 months on all Tahoe and Suburban models. See your Heartland Chevy dealers. What priority standard are you? Organizational tax yeah. yeah. And those are the four of them. But you haven't, like, direct instruction over it's description or conflict. Right. So technically it wouldn't be wrong, but, I mean, there was a better option, which would be yeah. pair contrast. So maybe we put, I mean, would that go in, like, a level two? So would I move her, and that's why I was wondering if I should move her with my... Toyota's National Clearance Event is going on now. Get super low APR financing and great lease offers on the remaining 2017s. Save big on favorites like the reliable Camry, economical Corolla, adventurous RAV4, and more. Right now, you can get 0% APR financing for 72 months plus $1,000 bonus cash on a new 2017 Camry or a new 2017 RAV4. For the deals end September 5th, come in today and get yours before they're gone. Toyota, let's go places. It's time to get back in the game. National Kickoff Day at Nebraska Furniture Mart is here. Take a seat, grab a snack, turn it on, and turn it up. Shop store-wide specials and 30-month financing. Kick off the season at Nebraska Furniture Mart. Omaha Sunday Morning, a new program that spotlights the spirit of Omaha, local stories that inform and inspire. Sunday mornings at 7.30 on KMTV3. An Elkhorn man learns he's going to be a dad and the exact moment is caught on camera. The photo has been going viral. Lindsay Thies met with a couple for the story behind the popular picture. Come here, Moose. Chelsea and Will Morales have been married for three years and during that time have had a lot of photos to document it. She's big into pictures, don't let her lie to you. <laughs> we, we do uh, uh, every once in a while, we, yeah. we do them. But never before has one picture had such a story for this couple. Earlier this summer, Chelsea learned she was pregnant with their first child. Rather than tell her hubby, she orchestrated a plan, emailing her high school friend who's a photographer in the meantime. I just felt so like honored that she asked me to like keep such a secret. The idea, tell Will and catch it all on camera the very moment he learns he's a dad. Well, she said that we want an Instagram photo shoot. The day of the shoot came. We were going to take some pictures and do some um, games that she had for couples. I'm going to put you back to back and hand you these chalkboards and I'm going to have you write three words to describe each other on them. I put beautiful, witty, and smart and I thought that was going to be awesome because when she saw it she was like, oh, you know, so I thought, well, That you would win. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chelsea's chalkboard says you're going to be a daddy. Um, so I was just kind of like snapping away and then his reaction was like, I, it was perfect. My jaw dropped, like I was saying, are you serious? Uh -huh. Are you? But I don't know how my mouth would be that open. <laughs> Chelsea is now 14 weeks along and Will is already thinking about their next family photo shoot with baby. Matching clothes. <laughs> But more than anything, the family will have a moment they won't soon forget, captured in a still frame forever. It was, it was a great memory, yeah. and I'll always have that. What a fun story. Stay with us. We'll have a last look at your weekend forecast coming up after the break. If you thought living with Sheldon Cooper was tough. Physicist, baker, lover, what can't I do? Try growing up with him. You excited to start school? How can I be excited when he's going to be in the same grade as me? I'm not planning on being in the ninth grade for very long. He's not in the same grade as me anymore, and I'm thrilled. Good luck with your finger painting. From the brains behind the Big Bang Theory. Admit it, he's adopted. 
How can I be adopted when I have a twin sister? Think, monkey. Think. Young Sheldon premieres Monday, September 25th. I just picked up the cake for the baby shower. Yay! You know she's having a boy, right? Oh, boy. Buick now has an SUV for that. Introducing the new Buick Encore. I knew I could trust you guys with the cake. No problem. <laughs> that was close. <sighs> One of three luxury SUVs from the new Buick. Get this lease on this 2017 Buick Encore for around $199 per month. Or get $4,000 purchase allowance when you finance through GM Financial. The soil around your home is like a sponge. It absorbs water and expands when it's wet. It contracts when it's dry. For your foundation, these changes can be devastating, especially during very wet or very dry swings. Wall cracks, uneven floors, these are signs that a foundation problem is stealing value from your home. But there's a way to protect your investment. Call Thrasher today. We can make your foundation rock solid no matter what the soil does. So don't wait for the problems to get worse. Call us today. With my moderate to severe Crohn's disease, I kept looking for ways to manage my symptoms. I thought I was doing okay. Then it hit me. Managing was all I was doing. When I told my doctor, I learned Humira is for people who still have symptoms of moderate to severe Crohn's disease, even after trying other medications. In clinical studies, the majority of people on Humira saw significant symptom relief, and many achieved remission. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Before treatment, get tested for TB. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common, and if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections, or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humira if you have an infection. Just managing your symptoms? Ask your gastroenterologist about Humira. With Humira, remission is possible. As part of KMTV3's public service obligation, the station broadcasts programs that serve the educational and informational needs of children 16 years and younger. KMTV maintains quarterly reports regarding its children's educational and informational programming in the station's online public file available at FCC.gov. Several local students were busy today making fresh lemonade, hoping to raise money for victims of Hurricane Harvey. These two girls and their moms were at the intersection of First and Washington Street in Papillion this morning, offering their homemade lemonade for a donation to Harvey victims. Why? They say they just wanted to be able to help out the victims and make a difference. Just goes to show you, it doesn't matter how old you are, you can make a difference even when you're young. Good for them, a lesson for all of us. What else, what are we doing actually when we look at